What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Bonds. It's your boy Nani. It's your boy Ishana from Geeks in the City. And I got a real special video today for y'all. But first off, shout out to Astrophysics Live for letting me, uh, for letting, basically use his, uh, you know, like the journal piece I made for my intro. That's my new intro now. So like all my videos basically have that intro. But shout out to that because that, 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 uh, that song slaps. That song slaps a lot of dick. All right. Like that's, it, it, it's, it's, no, I had to jump on it, but uh, I will link his uh, music below if you want to like take a listen to his stuff. He has a lot of good stuff. But uh, yeah, thanks again. I really appreciate it. And I know I haven't really posted a lot of reviews recently. I got lazy, but I am glad to release this review for One Piece Pirate Warriors 4. This game has been on my list for a long ass time, and I'm proud to say that this game has literally surpassed my expectations. It has without a doubt fixed most of the issues and complaints surrounding Warriors games as a whole. And it is still is probably one of my favorites to date alongside Hyper Warriors. And without further ado, let's get into this video. The first thing I would like to discuss is the story. In One Piece, your main character is Captain of the Straw Hats, Monkey D. Luffy. Luffy. Oh, what the fuck am I saying? Luffy and his crew basically traveling the seas, battling evil pirates, saving people in a typical shonen fashion while searching for the legendary treasure, the king of the pirates left behind, which is uh, Goldie Roger, before he was executed. And that is basically what Luffy's primary goal is, is to become the next king of the pirates. Disclaimer though, this game does not cover all of the story from the beginning. Instead, it starts from Alabasta, where Luffy had his first fight with Crocodile. And I would literally say that's like a good few arcs after the beginning. So if you're basically new to the franchise and you think that this game is going to get you catched up on like everything that's going on, there's going to be a lot of gaps. And I honestly recommend you using this quarantine, snuggle up, get your Kleenex tissues, stay at home hub, get your manga, get your Hulus, get your your, your crunchy rolls, you know, your, your, your big stuff and read up on it because... You know, One Piece is long as hell. It's one of the longest uh, manga series ever made. So I recommend you, you know, reading up on it before you decide to like try to learn what's going on. But you can still play the game though if you care. Like it's, it's not up to you to you know. It's up to you to like basically read up on what's going on. So just being honest, like story ain't really gonna help much if you're trying to give like a it gives you like a good summary. Like I'll say they 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 did they did a good job cramming most of the important stuff in the story that fans should already know like like in his lobby but robin the sea by the archipelago with kuma with all that with the celestial dragons and you know the you know getting zoro with that very sad scene that i will not talk about and the paramount war which basically when ace passed away and it led to the time skip all that all that they basically discuss in the story mode the cgi cutscenes are actually very well done with some of the cinematics being recycled from pirate warriors 3 just update it to look a lot more better you know not really a big deal in my opinion considering the fact that it's literally the exact same story it's not like they're adding anything new there's not really much to do there anyway overall a good job on summarizing the important stuff for the fans who are already familiar with the story there are two other modes which are the standard free logs basically in all warriors games that allows you to go back and play through the story with every characters you want when you unlock them and the charge log mode which is basically the mode you're going to be grinding the most after you beat the story it consists of random objectives and what if battles that allows you to get coins and berries for the crucial character upgrades that you'll get down the line standard stuff to say the least and now that's out the way we'll get to the graphics and the frame rates I have the P base PS4 and the Pro PS4. On the base PS4, the game runs at a stable 40 FPS a second. Not bad, honestly. I was expecting to see at least 50 or 60, considering the fact that how like it's not really a graphically demanding game. But hey, I ain't gonna complain. I don't really. I'm not really a graphics guy personally. Like the game looked good. If the game looked dummy thick, thicked up, dummy cheeked up, then I don't mind it. You feel me? Like hey, do you? But as long as the game, to me personally, as long as it runs well, I don't really care. So I'm, I'm, it's, it's whatever, especially this is the kind of game that you expect to have a good frame rate anyway. Because, like, you know, you can't have no laggy action game. Everybody hates that shit. Like, come on now, let's be honest with you. Like, we being honest here. Well, I'm not even trying to cap. Like, who would... Nobody would want to play God of War. Bro, nobody would want to play God of War with a 20 FPS. 20 FPS, bro. Like, that's blasphemy, bro. Like, nobody wants that, all right? So, just saying, whatever. The frame rate, it, the game runs pretty well, more or less. On the PS4 PS4 Pro side, on the other hand, it runs at a solid 60 FPS. 
Uh, I do have a 4K TV and it's I think it's super sampled. So I'm not really sure what the resolution is. But for the most part, it runs well. Uh, I haven't really seen a lot of dips here and there, but I did see a few. The only time I actually seen that was like basically when there's like a lot of stuff going on, on the screen, like I'm spamming special moves left, right, up, down, north, south, east, west, toilet bowl. Like when there's a lot of stuff going on, on the screen, but I kind of enjoy it because I just know that you like you, you fucking shit up. You feel me? Like, you know, when the game starts lagging, you know what I'm saying? But uh, <laughs> whatever the graphics. In general, they show a lot more improvement compared to the third one. The character models in this one look way more colorful, detailed, and fleshed out with that flair that you would expect from an anime game. You feel me? Like, all anime games, mostly all of them, they look good. Like, I'll say the staple is the Storm series, especially with Ultimate Ninja 4. Say what you want about that game. Say it wasn't really a fighting game. Eat dick, bro. Like, it looked good, all right? Especially with the, the, the cutscenes and the quick time events in the story. Stellar. Fantastic. I have nothing. I that Naruto can they can have that. Storm can have that. You feel me? Uh, this is another thing I want to talk about. Uh, personal grief. Uh, considering not really grief, more of a uh, uh, acknowledgement. Considering how huge this was an issue in the other prior uh, Warriors games, the giant characters. In prior games, you had characters like Akainu, uh, uh, Borsalino, Kuzan, uh, Whitebeard. They were scaled down drastically compared to their height in the manga and the anime. It's like when you see them in the manga and anime, they are towers. They are twin tower skyscrapers, big body BBC looking over everybody. Like you feel me? Like they were just that was them. They were just tall as tall as all hell. All right. But in this game, they actually kept the same uh, size with them because uh, I guess they scaled them down in the prior games to not make them look awkward or they thought it was gonna look awkward to have like somebody so tall but they fixed that they actually said you know what whatever we gonna do what we want all right like whatever this is what y'all want and I'm glad that it did that because it, it stays true to the anime to actually have them this tall and this huge so uh good job for them all right I especially when you see Kaido and Big Mom if you if y'all decide to get the game they some they some big motherfuckers. Like they, they, they huge. They, and just ragdolling people. Just, just, cause I'm a short boy. So just me, just basically live my fantasy of just being tall. It's, it's all, it's, it's worth it. All right. It's worth it. But now we get into the best part, which is the, I say the gameplay. Like the gameplay. Yeah, yeah, yeah boy. Bruh this gameplay though this is what this is what makes me want to bust out the kleenex bro but <sighs> i digress as with all warriors games uh you execute combos with the combination of the two buttons depending on the order typical fashion mowing down hundreds of enemies with reckless abandon mashing the b button like like you have something wrong with you a b and c taking points or whatever typical dynasty warrior stuff this is what you do in like almost every dynasty warriors game it's flashy as all hell and it's real satisfying to pull out the combos when you actually get a groove going the largest issue with warriors games as a whole is the fact that they're repetitive and people complain that it gets stale way too quickly which is true i ain't gonna cap all right because these games prioritize uh, I say uh, quantity over quality so like you give you like for dynasty warriors in general or like warriors orochi you'll see that you'll get like hundreds and hundreds of characters within the gameplay it doesn't really it's not really for as fulfilling you know it's like all right i have all these characters it's just like eh, eh. Like, you know it's not really not really important but i feel like with warriors 4 i don't, I don't power warriors 4 is like you know there are a few games in this category that kind of fix that issue like hybrid warriors which was considered to be and is still by far one of the best warriors games ever made compared according to everybody and it's kind of present because it's a damn spinoff but whatever uh warriors 4 kind of fixes this issue by adding new mechanics to the gameplay that makes the combat more fluid and dynamic such as the power dash mechanic that allows you to cancel any combo or action and continue the onslaught making movement a lot more easier and the addition to actually jump and continue your onslaught in the air which is crazy because you can never jump in a power of warriors game and even better, there are actually brand new combo routes in the air for most characters, which adds a lot more depth to the gameplay overall. But wait, there's more, bro. 
those gonna leave y'all like that leave y'all hanging nah the leveling system is a lot more refined than the prior games allowing the grind to level up to characters to be a lot more easier and rewarding than just rng hunted for coins in prior warriors 3 because i ain't gonna lie to you that shit was annoying as hell bro like i hated that shit bro i tried to get that one coin for law bro and i had to keep doing the same mission over and over and over again and i was like bro uninstall was, was in my head real quick i, I had gun to the uninstall button <laughs> the additions to the basically the additions to have multiple specials which is new uh i know in the prior games you only had two specials that you can get for every character but in this time you actually have the opportunity to have multiple special moves assigned to the space buttons basically with the combination of r1 or the like the trigger buttons for the xbox or whatever square triangle circle x basically just having going from two special moves to four is fantastic and you can actually switch and customize these special moves when you level up your character you have the opportunity to switch out these moves however you want which basically allows for every character in the game new and old to have brand new moves eliminating the idea that all the characters play the same because everybody I can, I can say without a doubt that every character no matter where Right, what kind of character they are brute range character whatever they all play differently and that's why i praise pirate this is why i'm so glad that this game is the way it is right now this is why i can say literally say that this is probably the best combat i have seen in a warriors game to date other than other than, other than hyrule warriors I, I don't have to lie about that i'll be straight up with y'all uh, for example there are four archetypes there is power speed technique and the new edition which is the sky type which is probably the most broken type i ain't gonna this is it, broken bro like that shit shit broken i love it you sanji just be sanji that boy in the sky bro uh power relying on using brute force knocking your enemies into each other to do more damage like aoe damage or whatever speed is relying on your stamina bar the, like the power dash mechanic uh you get reduced depletion so basically you can go in and out of combat a lot more easily which makes you probably like a lot more mobile than the other characters uh there's the technique one archetype which is basically using traps and unique mechanics to group enemies and into like each other like basically like putting traps on like just like Usopp for example Usopp's main goal is like he can basically like group a lot of enemies together like he put uh bombs and like he put mines and traps on the ground and group them all together and just blow everybody up doing a lot of big damage basically which rewards you to be smart and analytical about your gameplay and there is the sky which is the last one which is just the the, the bust down BBC mode which you just do whatever you want you know just they said they didn't i feel like they did not care about what they did here with these characters bro like they they just didn't care they was like man fuck, fuck. like i'm just, I'm just we gonna do what we want all right we're gonna do whatever <laughs> uh sky is basically they give you like an invincible dash in the air allowing you to stay in the air and do damage with no setbacks basically you can just dish out and do combos in here and i told you before there's like a lot of combo routes with these characters and they prioritize doing in the air and you and you're invincible in the air with the with the dash you basically when you see somebody trying to attack you like a boss in attack you can just dash through them and continue your combo without taking any damage <laughs> it's, it's crazy so in general as you can see there's a lot more death here than the other warriors game basically rewarding you to play multiple characters and play styles without feeling too constrained and stale and with the base roster of 43 characters it's well worth it's well worth the grind all right and there are also certain characters that can transform and get brand new abilities and specials like installs basically uh for example like i say luffy prime example he can transform into his snake man forms his gear four forms snake man and bounce man at will like you literally can just once you level him up like in the skill tree you basically unlock these abilities and you can use them you can just basically just slot them you can slot both of them like when you start a metal level and just play through with both of those abilities on like with no problem like it's not like it's there's there's limits like you you can do what you want like they're not going to limit you to just only you only pick one we're sorry we only can pick one no 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 shut shut up you can you can pick both like you can do whatever you want basically and i feel like that adds a lot more depth because basically you just play however you want and i feel like this game rewards you for experiment like for experimentation which is something i didn't really see in a lot of other warriors games prior other than hybrid warriors god damn nintendo <laughs> there's also two to four player co-op if you prefer playing with friends you can actually play through the whole entire story with a friend with two player basically it's not gonna be four player uh the whole story like the like the, the story the dramatic log with story mode you basically play through the whole story with a friend and, you know that's like you know a lot of people like the fact of having co-op and playing together with people and it makes the game a lot more enjoyable you know having having a homie there to play with you which is really entertaining 
in the treasure log which is the one i mentioned earlier about the berry grinding and like for your characters or whatever uh, in a certain maps you can basically bring up to four people so like you basically have like you and including three other people y'all can do like the special uh mission maps like with different like submissions or whatever like bounties like defeat a certain amount of enemies uh you know get your bounty up raise your wanted level and then beat this overpowered raid boss or whatever like an overpowered giant boss or something like that and then you know it's, so it's, it's actually really fun and i do hope like later on down the line they'll add like a lot more of that because i feel like that would bring a lot more people to enjoy the game a lot more so uh in general the combat is fantastic probably the best i've seen in a warriors game to date i'm really proud of what they did with this and if they keep going in this direction then they're there can be this is probably going to be like the premier way to play a warriors game and i'm sad to say that you know i'm trying to know this for fire warriors and that's like i grew up with that but pirate warriors is taking a big leap into the right direction like i appreciate that a lot and last but not least we don't get into the bad shit because it's a lot like it's it's not a lot but there's these these nuances that really just just grinds my gears a little bit you feel me like it's just making me just want to just throw I, I didn't want to throw my controller, but sure enough, I wanted to, I wanted to scream like like Gohan in Super Saiyan 2 form versus Cell. You feel me? Like I, I wanted to scream really bad, but uh, there are a few issues in the game that you're going to encounter that's going to be uh, very annoying. Uh, first off, is the camera. The camera is trash, basura, garbago. This the camera's bad, right? I ain't gonna cap it. The camera's bad. The lock on tracking is very weird, especially when you're trying to fight a boss. You know they do in-game stuff and they move they move around a lot the bosses like they move around. it's like your camera got hit with a confused ray by zubat and it rotates around you and you lose sight of your of the you lose sight of both the enemy and your character especially if you're near a wall so you don't know where the heck you're going and there has been a lot of times where i died or i just like because i got yoked up i got g-checked in the corner by all these by all these bosses just getting just just stomped out just i'm like yo we're where my, where my, yo, like, yo, I'm not, ain't safe on block, like, like, what's the problem? But other than that, I feel like hopefully they will patch this in the future because it's not really, it's not really a big deal because I still enjoy the game regardless. But to somebody who hates camera issues, you're gonna have a bad time with this one, Chief. I ain't gonna lie to you. And second is the fact that if you can't really upgrade your characters, the uh, the UI for the main menu is kind of stupid because there's no upgrade, like, there's no way you can upgrade your character unless you start a level. So if you do upgrade your character, you would literally will have to like go to the level that you want. You have to pick the character, right? And then load into the level and then upgrade your character from there. And then you have to back out. Like, like that doesn't, that's like, that's like starting. That's like if you play like a, like a, like, like a RPG or something, right? Like a turn-based RPG, right? And the only way you can go to the menu to like equip skills, upgrade your characters. If you start a battle with somebody, you can't really do it like just when you're just sitting there, you have to go to some go to a battle and you have to literally just load pick your load out in the battle instead of like doing it like outside in the town so you can't do it in the town like which is stupid so hopefully these two issues that i have hopefully they get passion in the near future because this game is too good now i would hate to see that these these are some these are some very annoying nuances all right like i don't say like they're game breaking but like it's kind of like they shouldn't be here because y'all know better you feel me like this wasn't here like eh. It was kind of here in Warriors 3. I'm going to try to cap, but like, it shouldn't be here regardless. You know, y'all should know better. Like, y'all have y made these games for like, y'all made four of these games now, bro. Like, come on. But other than that, that's why, that's like the bad. Not really bad, but still kind of annoying to me. So, um, yeah, this is my review of Pirate Warriors 4. If I actually get a legit review, if you want something to grind over this quarantine, if, you, if you're not really into JR, I know Persona 5 Royal is coming out, and I didn't even start that yet because I'm trying, it's a lot of work I gotta do, like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna get to that when I get to that, but, uh, if you're not really into RPGs, or you're not really into, like, you know, if you want, just want something that you can just sit back and relax and not have to worry too much, just hack and slash on the couch, eating Cheetos, this is the game for you. Um, the combat is, well, it's fantastic, that's like the, the primary creme de la creme de tre leche this is this is the good stuff all right this is the the creamy goodness this is that 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 homemade ice cream that grandma made down south bro like this this is that gameplay is good bro so if you're really a fan of the gameplay and if you are a fan of one piece and you would like to see like how much they improve because they improve very well and if you are a fan of hybrid warriors i recommend you get this game 
this is a must-have game for anybody who is fans of the series and who actually like Warriors games as a whole. And plus, the amount of improvements that they did bring will bring a lot of newcomers into this genre. And I feel like this game is a huge leap and a huge step forward for like the Warriors games in general. Because if all the other Warriors games play like this, then all the controversy and the negative acclaim that the games that these kind of games get will be thrown out the window. Because in general, at the end of the day, as long as the combat is satisfying and you feel like your moves have weight and depth and it has some sort of good dynamic to them, which keeps you to keep playing, then that's that makes the game worthwhile. So uh, from one to 10, I most likely give this game a 8.5 or a nine. It's not gonna get a 10 out of me personally because of those camera issues. Like I ain't gonna try to cap it. Like I like I love you Warriors 4, but you you some BS. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. This has been Shauna Bonds 2D from Geeks in the City. Uh, I'm actually starting uh, my Twitch stream uh, where I'm actually I already finessed that. So uh, if you wanna support me or support the geeks uh i fixed that up for them so we're probably gonna be streaming uh i'll probably a lot more because i got nothing better to do my ass got laid off you know i'm like all right whatever so if you want to see that uh you can follow me at aishana underscore nani i leave the description and the uh link below whatever uh thanks for all the support i do appreciate the fact that we actually got a lot of people like listening to us a lot more now i don't know where the hell y'all came from but thanks a lot for supporting us uh we really appreciate it this has been Bonds from Geeks in the City, and I'll see y'all next video. Peace. Yeah.